nesting parts in AlphaCam for CNC, saw jets, and saws. Nesting can be used to calculate the yield or estimate how many slabs you need for a job. It is also used for laying out common parts for a large job. To create a nest, you will need drawings of your parts and drawings of the material. The part drawings just need to be closed geometry. The part drawings may be saved individually or you may save multiple parts in a drawing as shown. Draw a rectangle to represent the size of the slab. You may draw multiple sizes of slabs and save them in the same drawing or save them individually as shown. Eventually, all part drawings and slab drawings will be merged or combined into the same drawing. This is the easiest way to use nesting in our industry. I'll start by using File, Open, and Home Insert to bring all of the drawings of my parts and materials to be nested on into one drawing. The job we'll be nesting is for the River's Edge apartment complex. We'll be using two different types of materials, one for the kitchen and one for the bathroom and laundry room. I have four drawings saved in the kitchen folder, three of countertops and one of the material or slab to cut it on. I'll open one of the drawings and insert the other three. I'll do this by going to Home and choosing Insert and then selecting the parts that go with the same job. I'll insert the parts into my drawing anywhere to the outside of my slab and also ensuring that the parts or any drawings do not overlap each other. Next, we'll enter all the parts into our nest list by going to the nesting tab and choosing add parts. Now we can build our nest list by choosing add parts from drawing and then selecting the outline of the part. You can either use the given name or type in one if you prefer. This job requires a quantity of 12 of this part and we need the orientation to stay the same as drawn because of grain direction. All of our part pieces will have a priority of one because they are all needed. Click OK and repeat this process for all pieces or parts in the drawing. The geometries will be removed from the drawing to prevent you from selecting them twice. After all the parts have been selected, right click or escape to finish. The add sheet from drawing icon allows us to select the slab or material drawing as shown on the command line below. Enter a number if you have a limited quantity of this slab. Otherwise, leave a zero to have all of your parts nested. If you have other size slab drawings, select them at this time, or right-click to finish. Now, you can view your nest list, both the parts and the material. All the parameters that were entered for each part are displayed. You may still change them by clicking in the appropriate field and changing the value. Now we can enter some basic settings to program our saw or saw jet. Leave true shape nesting selected on the general tab. And under options, we would normally select the bottom left to start stacking. That would be the front left corner and reference point of our table. I'm going to enter 0.135 into the minimum distance between paths, which are the edges of our parts. This value represents the curve for the thickness of my saw blade. That's the widest path that I'll need to remove on my saw jet. Gap at sheet edge allows me to enter a value 
to keep my nested parts away from the border of the slab. One inch was the value in the drawing of the material that I was provided with. Since most of my parts are rectangles, I'll shorten the length of time allowed to process my nest. Allowing more time may give me a better yield. There are only two settings that I found beneficial for cutting a stone slab. They are found under the Extensions tab. Use AlphaCam's Help section to research any other settings that you desire. With the parts, materials, and settings all correct, you can choose the Nest button to start the nesting process. Now, if you view full screen, you'll see all the parts laid out on the slabs. The original parts and materials are still in their original positions. Every sheet used and needed is labeled to help me identify the quantity of sheets needed for this job. The number or label on each part identifies the order which it was entered into the nest list. You can easily clear all the text out of your drawing by going to the Home tab and choosing Clear Memory, selecting Text, and choosing OK. You can find information in the yield of each sheet by going to the Nesting tab, choosing Nested Sheet, and then selecting the outline of the sheet, followed by a finish. The values in Sheet, Parts, and Scrap are displayed in square inches. To convert to square feet, divide the value by 144. The area displayed in green on the selected sheet represents the parts. The area displayed in red represents the square units of scrap. The area of individual parts are displayed in square inches as well. Next, we'll remove all of the nesting information from our drawing to prepare each slab for programming. Start by drawing a rectangle over the top of nesting's yellow slab perimeter. Use your endpoint snaps to ensure accurate size and placement in relationship to the parts. Delete all of the original yellow nesting perimeters out of the drawing. I find it the easiest to select them by touching them with a crossing window, clicking to the right and pulling to the left. I'll also delete all of the original parts from this drawing because the correct amount are already nested on the slabs. I'm going to save this layout of all six slabs back into the job folder in case I need to refer to them later. Now I'll need to save each nested slab as its own drawing. I'll do so by choosing Home, Save Selected, select one of the slabs, and then enter a name. I'll just use slab 1 through 6. I'm going to delete each slab after saving it. It just helps me remember which ones I've already saved. Repeat this process for all six slabs. When you're finished, you can choose to open a new drawing and say no to save changes. That way, the drawing you previously saved will still retain all six nested slabs. And now, if you choose, you can program the slabs. Open one of the slab drawings that we exported before. Notice that the bottom left corner of the slab is more than likely not at X0 and Y0. Move that corner of the slab to X0 and Y0 before applying tool pass. And finally, apply the tool pass to create your program. Thank you 
for choosing Park Industries.